Joining us now is Victor Davis Hanson, senior fellow at the Hoover Institution. Biden, Victor, says he wants competition, not conflict with China. But how does China see Biden in the aftermath of the last two years? Well, they see his magnanimity as weakness to be exploited, not to be reciprocated. I think Biden has confused the American people. He's frightened uh, our allies, and he's encouraged the Chinese. I mean, there's vulnerability, and then there's the perception of vulnerability. We have both. Somehow, a 200-foot balloon with a ton payload went right through our air uh, defenses, and some people were babbling about UFOs. I mean, you can have a one megaton bomb for that payload. And we know that the Chinese have been experimenting with these very sophisticated balloons for years. Russia's uh, flooding the zone in Ukraine with balloons that confuse radar. So it wasn't like we weren't prepared for it. And then I guess we don't have an airplane that can operate, Laura, at 60,000 feet, although we used to, and the Russians do, without flying at 50,000 and spending $500,000 per each missile, some of which went on these cheap balloons. So there's real, that's a question how vulnerable we really are. And then there's the perception of vulnerability when this administration is so panicked that the American people are on to his appeasement and the allies are on to his appeasement that they say, we couldn't shoot it down because the waters were too cold in Alaska. We couldn't shoot it down because we were afraid of the debris. We couldn't shoot it down because we couldn't operate at that level. We couldn't shoot it down because we were buttoned up below. There was no problem. We couldn't shoot it down because it was a primitive device. We couldn't shoot it down because we didn't want it to drop on. So all of these different excuses just compound the general perception that they don't know what they're doing. And you raise a good question. Are they incompetent? Or are they compromised? And this appears at the same time we're getting these very disturbing stories that Hunter Biden had a contact or some type of relationship with the FBI and was leveraging them to go easy on Chinese oligarchs that had problems coming into the United States. So we need to, I don't know what to do because it's is it the national security advisor who's weak is it the is the secretary of state yeah. weak is it the national security council is it the joint chiefs they all contribute to this image and it's it's scary it's well, very it dangerous if we lose deterrence yeah, with well, china not, it, because they'll try something victor, stupid victor it starts victor it starts at the top because we have a president who's a figurehead he does he's not making any of the decisions that's beyond obvious we don't really know who is making the decisions, but it's obviously not Biden. We don't. Um, and meanwhile, we have people like John Kerry and others who think that China, which builds, what, five coal plants a week or 15 coal plants a month, <laughs> is going to be some great climate partner. So this is one lunatic who became totally unhinged last night at a Josh Hawley speech at Heritage Foundation. Watch. What do our leadership? We have the largest military in the world. We spend over one trillion dollar every year. And this state, your state of Missouri, is over half of people are in poverty. China is not our enemy. The climate crisis. Is. We need to be this serious about the climate crisis. China is not our enemy. The climate is our and climate change is our enemy. Victor, uh, it is true that the left thinks. Uh, Republicans, especially Trump conservatives, are the most dangerous thing on the face of the planet, maybe then climate change. <laughs> but, but it's not China. The China is not a problem whatsoever yeah. for the new left. No, we, we, we know that if a Russian balloon had gone into our space for a week and Donald Trump was president, he would have been impeached a third time. And uh, the, the left would have gone hysterical. Exactly. And we also know that in any other president was shot this Chinese balloon the moment it, it, it approached it. And said we kind of made excuses. We contextualized it. We apologized for it. And uh, it had no harmful intent. It was a, a low-tech weapon and all the low-tech observation device. And so it's, it's pathetic, but it reminds me so much of Jimmy Carter. It really does. And then Ray, we were just waiting for a Reagan, and we were saved by Reagan. But the question we have now is, do we have a Reagan-esque figure that can step in and save us? Because this is getting very scary. Yeah, well, uh, on the verge of World War III, if things keep going the way they're going in Ukraine as well. Victor, great to see you.